let's head back up top where Rex Revelers pouring it out the gates, catching some big air. That was huge. And is that a one wheel landing? Impressive to say the least. Also a back to back ramp. Yes, it's much smaller, but the second jump will definitely add some difficulty to the track. I'm sure that we're going to see all kinds of scenarios play out around that part. Now out of the turn section, Rex Revelers still has to roll out as far as possible on the final straight here. Will he pass up Weathers? It looks like it. And we have a new first place car for now. There are still plenty left to go in the competition. All right, look at this green machine. I thought it was a kiwi fruit at first, but it's none other than Darren Leadfoot. And my goodness, that jump was scary, but he just made it over. That could have been devastating otherwise. Now this section is what seems to make or break the car so far. If they get through the turns without losing too much speed, they have that nice rollout. But too much bumper car action and it severely hinders their performance. Let's see how Leadfoot finishes in comparison to the other racers. I don't think he's got the guts, unfortunately. And with that, he is going to be our current third place.